You ready? You ready? All right, so here's Brandon Moreno, Tijuana, Mexico's first UFC champion, won an interim belt against Kai Kata France in what was their second meeting, and somehow, some way, the trilogy arrives tonight. Your thoughts on Kata France trying to exact some revenge here after what happened back in 2022. Brandon Moreno is the funnest fighter on the UFC's roster, the nicest guy that you can ever come across that is an absolute killer. Because once that door closes, the octagon door closes, all the smiles are gone. And he is an absolute dog on the scent of a target that he wants to chase down. Kai Carl France doesn't need to be chased up. Kai Carl France will be in his face from the moment they say fight, trying to beat a man that has got the upper hand on him twice. Let's see what he does, or how he does. All right, so we'll see if Brandon Moreno can get off to a good start tonight. He is a five-tool player, but the jab would appear to be his... Big knee! Oh, oh, right hand. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Going to the body now with that hook, well placed there by Kata Franz. While this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every... Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, fly, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was. So look at that, a cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you by putting oh, back and forth. We go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Kyle Frost's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He's really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Kata France is bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher. Oh, huge right hand! Is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a he landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Nice positional control here. Pos 
gestures up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. He's on wobbly legs now. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more of the Then two minutes now to go. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Kata France is in half goal. All right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around that eye. You could stop this fight right now. You can stop it right now. I mean, I don't understand what anyone's waiting for. They're giving this guy a chance. But if he doesn't do something different defensively, it won't last much longer. Making all these shots count. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. All oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now. They're popping through it. They're excited. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, oh, big knee! He's holding back. He must be holding fast. Oh, what a shot to the body. He's trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. All right, that is the end of the second round, and Moreno's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, let us get you some replay. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go. Now five minutes remain in the fight. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets under. Oh, God, keep pressing here. Elbow attempt now. That one blocked by Brandon Moreno. Oh, and he caught the kick. Moreno's cheek is just leaking blood all over the octagon. That gash is absolutely... Oh, he hurt him again. He's in trouble. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking at? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing. effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop.